The conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus is a significant astrological event with the potential for major shakeups and breakthroughs. At Territory Channel, we will dive into what makes this transit so fascinating. Jupiter is the planet of growth, abundance, optimism and expansion in all directions, positive and negative. Uranus is the planet of sudden change, innovation and rebellion, and it's an energy we are not able to foresee, we can't anticipate or prepare for. On the 20th of April 2024, when these two powerhouses align in the grounded sign of Taurus, we can expect an urge to break free from limitations and embrace the potential for significant expansions in area related to Taurus. This conjunction happens every 14 years, but this time, in the sign of Taurus, will trigger special events in areas ruled by the planet Venus, like earthly delights, animal instincts, material possessions, resources, anything that brings beauty, security and pleasure in our lives. Rem Butler, in his book The Archetypal Universe, sets out the following principles for the Jupiter-Uranus planetary pair. Dramatic breakthroughs and quantum leaps, sudden unexpected openings and awakenings, exciting feelings of freedom and space, illuminative or Promethean types of ecstasy. There are also some shadow qualities that might come up, like the potential for manic and impulsive excesses, hubris and overweening pride, attraction to get rich quick programs, new age ideals that promise liberation without effort or pain. Uranus is very much associated with technology and innovation, since Jupiter conjunct Uranus is happening in the sign of Taurus. Here's a breakdown of the specific areas this transit is likely to influence most. For example, in the finances and resources area, we might see volatility in markets, a trend that we have already started to see since Uranus entered Taurus. With the added influence of Jupiter, the fluctuation of stock prices, changes in cryptocurrency values, shifts in the traditional banking systems will not be able to be ignored. They will make a significant mark on the livelihood of people in one way or another. Revolutions in money or what we perceive as this energy exchange. We might see new approaches to finances that can become very visible at this time might be revealed, it might be the rise of alternate currencies and greater democratization of financial access. Or it can be something completely new that can require the ad hoc convention of people on how to regulate the value of things, of resources, of products and services. There might be a need to establish new ways of evaluation, maybe reassess the distribution of wealth and the true price of products. Unexpected disruptions we might see at this time, like sudden changes and innovations that shake up established industries and how we use technology. We might see digital decentralization, a greater push towards decentralizing power and creating more accessible technological platforms. This gets us to the third point, like redefining value questions around what we consider value both in material possessions and our personal priorities, human values, my increasing consideration above material values. There might be this need to spread out wealth, thinking about the expansive attribute of Jupiter. It might be the sudden growing of the value of natural resources in detriment of intangible assets. Throughout the year as well, there might be an acceleration in the transformation of our relationship with money, possessions, and what brings us a sense of security. We might see people suddenly overcoming limiting beliefs about self-worth and opening up to greater abundance and self-belief. In the area of the earth, of the environment, of the food, one thing that we have seen lately is the increase in environmental upheaval and around April we might really be seeing unexpected natural events, an increased focus on climate change and urgency in finding sustainable solutions. With the latest crisis on the food market, transport, issues with the farmers' activity and including uh, floods right now, we might actually hear news about innovation and breakthroughs in agricultural technology food production methods and a push towards sustainable food systems. 
the land and natural resources, we might see a shift in the value of the land, potential disputes over resources, or concerns regarding ownership and control. In the area of the social structures and the stability that we see, we, we might see some challenges to tradition, to rebelling against old systems of wealth distribution, maybe land ownership and social uh, hierarchies. So some progressive ideas might come through right now to offer greater support for social movements focused on equality, sustainability, individual freedom, right? This desire for change to, to uh, shift to widespread demand for new paradigms and solutions to established social problems like homelessness. Also, we might see some people really prioritizing pleasure at this moment, an increased desire for sensual experiences, comfort and enjoyment of life's simple pleasures. The exact degrees at which this conjunction is happening is 21 degrees and 49 minutes, taking us to the Sabian symbol of 22 Taurus. This is represented by guidance, white dove over troubled waters. On the website Sabian Symbols by Linda Hill, I found a beautiful explanation of the Sabian symbol. This symbol implies a talent for bringing calm, protection and good tidings to those who need help. Although there might be trouble all around, you are able to rise above this and find safe ground. You may have to cross over into the dark side in order to bring order and safety to people's lives. Even though you might be lost from sight for a while and people may feel like you have abandoned them, you will return and guide them to safety and reassurance. You might need to send a message to those who could be feeling left out and in need of reassurance at this time. Transcending worry through spiritual awareness, prophetic mission, messages and symbols of peace, going for objectives, calming troubled minds, redemption and hope. Be cautious not to, uh, to be too caught up in worries. Be aware of not being able to accept that things are getting better on any form of, of, of society problems. You might really have to pay attention right now about dipping into dramatic situations. So there are a few key points to remember around this time. We have to stay open, right? The universe might present at this time unusual opportunities. We have to keep an open mind, try new things, and be ready to step outside our comfort zone. We should keep our discernment about us. Not every change presented during this time is inherently beneficial. So you should trust your gut and don't be afraid to say no to opportunities that you don't resonate with. We also have to make sure that we are grounding ourselves. We must embrace healthy routines, we must prioritize nature and find ways to manage stress during potential chaotic periods. Let's go through all the... Aries, let's break down how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus could impact the second house. This is especially interesting since Taurus is the natural ruler of the second house. So this one is governed by your earned income, your material resources, spending habits, and what you truly value on a tangible level. The second house is tied to your sense of self-worth, how you build security, and the way you approach the concept of abundance. This house also relates to your innate talents, your abilities, and how you leverage these skills to create value in the world. Taurus is the sign of money, and this conjunction with the second house suggests significant shifts in your financial situations. This could be surprising gains or unexpected expenses. This transit may reshape how you define wealth, possession, and what genuinely provides you security. You might discover unusual or unconventional ways to earn money or tap into previously unexplored talents. Breakdowns or breakthroughs regarding your self-worth are really possible, leading to healthier ways of finding confidence and building abundance. Uranus' unpredictable nature could lead to sudden fluctuations in your income or unexpected financial events. Jupiter's expansion might tempt you to overspend or make hasty financial decisions. 
Watch out for an increased focus on material possessions at the expense of inner fulfillment. What you should do, Aries, is to stay open to unexpected financial possibilities, but act with calculated risks and not blind optimism. Consider expanding your talents, learning new skills, or experimenting with ways to monetize your knowledge. Question your beliefs about money, your security and possessions. Focus on building inner security and long-term stability. Carefully consider expenditures, especially large ones. So you should channel some extra income into wise investments instead of impulsive purchases, Aries. Taurus. The Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus is happening in your first house, so we have a particularly strong impact for you. So let's delve straight into it. Your first house represents your sense of self, your personality, and the way you present yourself to the world. This house governs your physical appearance, how you carry yourself, and the initial impressions you make on others. The first house is also associated with taking action, initiating projects, and how you assert yourself into the world. This transit has the power to catalyze significant shifts in your sense of self, both internally and how you project yourself externally. You might be inspired to revamp your image with bold new styles or make adjustments to your physical appearance. Sudden events and opening might appear for you, Taurus, encouraging a bold step into a new chapter of life. You may discover an innovative and unique way to express your individuality that breaks away from your usual style. This might attract sudden breakups with usual structures, statuses, relationships that are not able to understand these sudden shifts in behaviors. You might encounter some challenges which such strong influence on your sense of self. Some internal shaking up might lead to temporary feelings of disorientation. Ensure your new initiatives are well considered and not based solely on a fleeting impulse. You really don't want to throw away the baby with the water, not letting go of the things that are still relevant in your life or they have a few, huge influence in who you are inherently. You might be feeling torn between the urge for change and a need for a grounded stability. Be patient as you find your footing. You should focus on expressing your most genuine self, Taurus, even if it feels different or outside of your usual comfort zone. Experiment with new styles, explore creative ways to express yourself through appearance, and break free from any outdated image you've outgrown. Channel this energy into bold steps towards something new, but ensure your choices align with your long-term goals. With all the potential for change, you should maintain practices that ground and center you, like meditation or time in nature, Taurus. Gemini, this conjunction is happening in your 12th house. And the 12th house is associated with the hidden aspects of ourselves, our dreams, intuition, and the collective unconscious. The 12th house is linked to spiritual exploration, seeking meaning outside of the physical world and connecting to something greater. The 12th house can signify secrets, both personal ones and those that are hidden for conscious awareness. This house is also linked to letting go, endings and dissolving boundaries. The conjunction of Jupiter in Uranus um, in your 12th house, your intuition and, and uh, psychic abilities could become significantly heightened, uh, Gemini's. So you should pay attention to your dreams right now and any profound inner knowings that surface. This transit has the potential to unlock unresolved emotional wounds or patterns that have kept you stuck in the past. A path towards healing either through therapy or internal work might be revealed. Surprise events might lead you down a new spiritual path or expand your definition of spirituality. Sudden and profound insights are really possible at this time. During this time, a great need for quiet introspection, meditation or retreat may arise. So honoring this need might be crucial for your inner growth right now. 
the line between the self and others might really blur. You could experience deeper empathy, compassion, and a sense of connection to something larger than yourself. The 12th house can be a nebulous space. Sudden insights and emotional release might feel overwhelming initially for you, Geminis. So you should use grounding practices that are really important for you right now to keep your balance. The messages from your subconscious from this transit might not be immediately clear. So you should start journaling or use your creative expression to process the experiences. Pay careful attention to your dreams, Geminis, your gut feelings and recurring symbols or themes emerging in your life. You should seek out practices or resources that support your spiritual growth and understanding. If past traumas or deep-seated patterns emerge, consider seeking professional support for healing and integration. Art, music, journaling or any form of creative self-expression can be really powerful tools for processing experience related to the 12th house. Cancers, let's break down the influence of the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus for you. It's happening in your 11th house. So your 11th house represents your social circles, your friendships and the kind of groups you belong to. This house highlights causes you believing, humanitarian interest, and your vision for a better future. Your 11th house holds your long-term aspirations and the kind of contribution you like to make to the world. This house is associated with progressive thought, with technology and social networking. So you should expect sudden changes within your friendship groups or communities you belong to. New, interesting people might be uh, unexpectedly enter your life, while some existing connections might fade away. Jupiter and Uranus together could bring existing advancements towards your long-term dreams and ambitions. Expect unusual opportunities or unexpected support to appear for you right now. This transit could spark your desire to make a difference in the world. You may be drawn to causes and social change initiatives aligning with your ideals. Your social networking prowess might significantly expand at this time. You may also be drawn to cutting edge technology or find unusual ways to connect with people. French could act in surprising or even erratic ways right now. So established groups of communities might be might see some unexpected changes or shifts in direction for you, Cancers. Jupiter's expansive energy might tempt you to take on too much with social engagements or even humanitarian commitments. Cancers, be open to meeting new unconventional people who might expand your worldview and support your goals. Channel this energy into positive change in your community or the wider world. Join forces with like-minded individuals towards a common vision. You should harness social media and technology to connect with others, spread your ideas, or build networks related to your dreams. While the energy is inspiring, remember to balance social commitments so you don't burn out. Leos, let's break down the influence of the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus when it occurs in your 10th house. The 10th house governs professional path, reputation, status, and how you present yourself to the world. This house reveals your aspirations, your long-term career goals, and desire for recognition. The 10th house is connected to figures of authority, how you step into leadership roles, and your own relationship with power. This house speaks to the impact you wish to leave on the world through your work or life contribution. This transit could bring unexpected shifts in your job, your reputation, or overall career direction. Sudden promotions, job offers, or unusual opportunities to step into the spotlight are possible. Jupiter's expansive energy, combined with Uranus' potential for innovation, could create a surge of progress in your professional goals. You might discover an unusual leadership style or take a bold new approach in your work that really sets you apart, Leos. This transit might bring increased visibility or public recognition for your work and achievements. 
The unpredictable nature of Uranus could lead to sudden job instability or unexpected changes that disrupt your plans. Beware of clashes with authority figures or letting sudden success go to your head. The potential for rapid professional expansion may require carefully managing your work-life balance to avoid burnout. Be open to sudden opportunities and unusual career paths. They might be the key to a major breakthrough for you, Leos. You should channel this energy into new projects, creative approaches to your work, or boldly putting yourself out there. Focus on connecting with people who can help you. Truly accelerate your goals. Your network would be the key to unlocking opportunities. Remember, even with rapid success, balance is important. So you should nurture your personal life and well-being alongside professional aspirations. Virgo, let's break down the influence of the jupiter uranus conjunction in Taurus when it occurs in your ninth house. The ninth house governs the pursuit of knowledge beyond formal schooling. So this can involve university studies, but also independent learning and exploring new philosophies. This house represents long distance journey, the desire to experience different cultures and the interest in the wider world. This holds your personal philosophies, spirituality, faith, systems, and your understanding of the big picture of life. This could also be related to how you express your idea to a wider audience, potentially through writing, through teaching, or even public speaking. You should see some potential impacts of this conjunction in your ninth house through sudden openings for travel related to studies like enrollment in groundbreaking courses or scholarships that could materialize at this time. This transit also has the potential to shift your beliefs and open your mind to radically new ideas and perspectives. Profound spiritual experiences, encounters with unusual belief systems or flashes of insight about the meaning of life are truly possible around this time. You might feel this sudden urge to teach, to publish or share your knowledge with the world in a bold new way. You should be aware of becoming overly attached to sudden new beliefs or you should stay open-minded and respect perspectives different from your own. Spontaneity is good, but Uranus can bring disruptions as well. So you should ensure this long distance travel is planned uh, thoughtfully to avoid mishaps. While new teachers or mentors might appear for you, Virgos, it's important to exercise discernment and not blindly follow anyone. How you should make the most of this transit? You should step outside of your comfort zone intellectually, spiritually, and even through travel to broaden your horizons. You should be open to learning from unconventional sources and people who challenge your current thinking. This transit invites you to examine your core beliefs and let go of those that no longer serve you. If you have something to share with the world, let this energy fuel your voice, even if it feels outside of the conventional norm. Libras, let's explore the potential influence of jupiter uranus conjunction in Taurus when it happens in your 8th house which is the house that represents deep personal change, cycles of death and rebirth, and confronting your shadow side. The eight, eight house governs the way you merge with others, both emotionally and financially, through joint finances, inheritance, etc. This house is associated with sexuality, with taboos, and exploring the dynamics of power and control. The eight house also deals with the mysteries of the life, the psychic abilities and topics that are often hidden from view. This conjunction might trigger significant internal shifts, helping you confront some deep-seated patterns or releasing old traumas that have held you back. Sudden developments related to inheritance, to investment, taxes or debt are possible. So you should see some unexpected gains or, lose, uh, or losses that can occur at this time. Sexuality and relationships may experience a sudden deepening or shake-up. Power dynamics may be brought to light right now for you to deal with. 
your intuition and perception of hidden elements in situations could become heightened. Some challenges that you might see is that this transit could bring some buried emotions or shadow aspects of yourself to the surface. It's important to find healthy ways to process and release them. You should watch out for tendencies towards addictive behaviors or becoming overly fixated on power struggles or hidden knowledge. With Jupiter's expansive energy influencing finances, avoid overly risking investments or gambling on, on uncertain sources of income. In order to make the most of this transit, you should seek support for deep transformation, whether through therapy, through healing modalities or a commitment to spiritual practices. This is an opportunity for you to address hidden dynamics and build relationships on a foundation of deep trust and vulnerability. Pay attention to your intuition and inner guidance while maintaining critical thinking when it comes to the advice of others. This transit may help you redefine your boundaries, particularly around intimacy, power, and what you share with others. Scorpios, let's examine how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus could manifest when it falls within the seventh house. The seventh house governs all one-on-one -on -one partnerships, including romantic relationships, business collaborations, and even significant adversaries. This house reflects how we relate to others, the qualities we seek out in partners, and what we might unconsciously project onto them. The seventh house has associations with formal agreements and legal matters concerning partnerships. This house speaks to how we compromise, cooperate, and find equilibrium in our relationships. This transit could bring for you sudden shifts within committed partnerships. New people may enter your life unexpectedly, existing relationships might transform, or breakups could occur. You might be drawn to people who significantly differ from your usual type or introduce unconventional elements into your relationships. This could awaken a need for greater independence and autonomy, leading to necessary changes within existing partnerships. Sudden developments with contracts, negotiations or legal proceedings are possible. Relationships could really experience unexpected breakups or shakeups due to Uranus' unpredictable nature. Jupiter expansive energy might lead to unrealistic expectations in partners or inflating their positive qualities. Be careful not to sacrifice your personal needs too much within partnerships in the name of keeping the peace. To make the most of this transit, you have to be open to surprising new connections, but approach any sudden developments in existing relationships with careful consideration. Honest and open communication is essential for navigating any shifts or changes with partnerships. This transit encourages you to examine your expectations and what you genuinely need from a partner. If challenges arise in partnerships, Focus on finding solutions that honor both your needs and those of the other person. Sagittarius, let's break down how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus might influence the sixth house. This house represents your day-to-day -day work, environment, tasks, responsibilities, and overall approach to getting things done. The sixth house governs matters of physical health, diet, lifestyle, fitness routines, and your overall well-being. This house relates to how you care for yourself and others, as well as your approach to offering help or service. The sixth house is also associated with any pets you might have and your relationships to animals in general. Unexpected shifts in your work situations are possible at this time. This could mean new roles, responsibilities, promotion, or even job loss. This transit can bring sudden changes to health matters, either rapid healing or unexpected health concerns. You may feel inspired to completely change how you structure your day, prioritize tasks, or approach your work. Interest in alternative health modalities, new diets, innovative exercise methods, or revamped self-care routine might surface. Uranus' presence can bring unexpected disruptions to your job or daily schedule, making things unpredictable for a time. 
be mindful of over exerting yourself with new work projects or tasks at the expense of your well-being. Sudden demands on your time or sudden health issues could throw off your routines, making it essential to prioritize your needs. So you should stay flexible and adaptable to sudden opportunities or changes in your work environment. This is an excellent time to explore new ways to care for your physical and mental health. You should channel this energy into creative solutions and unconventional approaches to your daily task. This transit may highlight how you offer service and how you can best receive support from others if needed. Capricorn, let's explore how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus might manifest when it occurs in your fifth house. The fifth house is your playground. It governs how you creatively express yourself, find joy and share your unique talents with the world. This house represents light-hearted romance, flirtations, casual dating and the ways you incorporate fun into your life. The fifth house has also connections to children, either your own or your working with them, as well as themes around uh, fertility. This house signifies the activity that lights you up, inspire you and bring a sense of fulfillment outside of work obligations. You, so you should expect a burst of creative energy and desire for self-expression. This could lead to sudden breakthroughs in artistic projects or discovering new talents. This transit can bring unexpected romantic encounters or a surge of, of spontaneity and playfulness into existing relationships. If you have children, sudden changes in your relationship with them are possible. For those considering children, unexpected news about fertility or pregnancy could occur. You may be drawn to new and unusual leisure activities, hobby, hobbies, or discover an innovative approach to an existing passion. Be mindful, Capricorns, of making hasty decisions in the realm of romance, or as world war connections might lack long-term stability. This transit could tempt you towards risky gambles or speculative investments. Channel this energy into creative risk-taking instead. You might take on too many creative projects or hobbies, so you might have to leave things unfinished. So pick your top priorities and focus your energy into what you really want to finish. Let this energy to fuel your artistic pursuits, self-expression and any projects that bring you joy. Inject a sense of lightness and unexpected adventure into your love life or social life in general. You should remain open-minded about new hobbies, creative outlets, or unusual romantic opportunities that come your way. Find innovative and positive ways to channel extra energy. Prioritize projects and creative pursuits that can bring you lasting fulfillment. Aquarius, let's examine how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus could influence themes related to the fourth house. This house represents your foundations, sense of belonging, and your relationship with your family of origin. The fourth house indicates your early childhood experiences, inner emotional world, and how you create a sense of safety and security. Your physical dwelling space, sense of home, and any unconscious patterns inherited from your family lineage are connected to this house. You should expect some unexpected moves, renovation or significant changes to your home environment that are possible at this time. Relationships with family members could experience surprise developments, both positive and potentially challenging. So this could trigger the need to redefine those family roles. This transit has the potential to illuminate old emotional patterns or uncover hidden aspects of your family history, opening doorways to healing. Your concept of what makes a home or creates a sense of security might undergo profound shifts. Sudden changes at home could be destabilizing, particularly if they affect your sense of emotional security. Buried tensions within your family might surface unexpectedly, requiring careful and sensitive handling. A sense of restlessness or a desire for radical change in your home environment could create temporary instability. 
you should use this energy for inner reflection, therapy, or practices aimed at healing the past for a greater sense of freedom. Invest time and energy in making your living space a sanctuary that nurtures and supports you. Embrace any shifts in family dynamics with an open heart and mind. Focus on clear communication, Aquarius. You break away from traditional concepts and experiment with what genuinely brings you comfort and security. Pisces, let's discuss how the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus might manifest when it occurs within the third house. The third house represents the way you think, the way you process information, communicate your ideas, and engage in short-term learning pursuits. This house signifies your relationship with siblings, the peers within your immediate environment, and your local community. This relates to your everyday travel, your commuting, short trips with your familiar surroundings. This house is associated with how you use technology, how you engage with social media, and your relationship with a constant flow of information. You should see sudden breakthroughs in your thinking patterns, a thirst for knowledge or interest in unusual subjects are possible. Your communication style could become bold and original or unexpected events might disrupt daily interactions with others. Relationships with siblings, neighbors or peers might experience surprising developments, both positive or challenging. This transit could spark an interest in unique subjects, innovative technologies, or unusual forms of communication. You might struggle with focus at this time, being easily distracted or taking on too many new interests. So you have to watch out for impulsivity when interacting with others as well. Take an extra moment to ensure your words are understood. Your everyday technology might experience glitches or unpredictable events could disrupt your usual travel patterns. How you should make the most out of this transit, Pisces? You should open your mind to fresh information, unusual perspectives and diverse way of thinking. Explore innovative ways to communicate or express yourself, whether through writing, public speaking or social media. If everyday routines experience disruption, create grounding practices to help you stay organized and focus. You also have to make sure that you remain kind in your communications, even with the urge for bold expression. Ensure you communicate your ideas thoughtfully and considerately towards others, Pisces.